Hey guys, Ugh, I have kind of a red tint, but oh well. Um, gonna do my comic vlog. This is like comic vlog eight or whatever. Um, I'm gonna start off with a little rant. Then I'm gonna go into my reviews, and then I'm gonna talk about future ideals and stuff that's happening. Uh, my rant for today is I forgot I don't own Walking Dead issue 124. So I'm reading All Out War, I'm reading 121, 122, rereading them because I don't remember. And I'm reading 123 and I'm like, where's 124? Because as, as you recall, I bought 125 and 126. So it's in my layaway, most likely. They owe me a copy, so yeah. So that was annoying, so I couldn't review that. Um, so I guess I'll just review... Um, it and when I review, do my story arcs reviews and stuff, or or D and J reviews or whatever, when, whenever that happens. So moving on, we're gonna go. It was a so-so week. Nothing really stuck out. Well, one stuck out, but it was just. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with the probably the blandest pick of the week. Actually. Two of them tied in blandest. Rogue Trooper issue 3 and Red Lanterns issue 30. They were fine, but it wasn't... It was just... <sighs> we'll start with Rogue Trooper number 3. This is the subscription cover. They were out of the main cover. But this cover is freaking intense, so I, I went with it. I'll buy a regular cover later. Um, basically, in this, Rogue f blows up tanks. And he gets the shit kicked out of him at the end. That's it. Nothing happened. It was cool and all. It was pretty intense. We found out the backpack can walk. Or I forgot the backpack would walk. Either thing is plausible at this point. Uh, it gets two out of five stars. Unfortunate. I like the series as a whole, but that was weak. Moving on, Red Lanterns issue 30. We're in the Red Daughter Krypton story arc, but for some reason we're in another story arc as well. This is the Judgment Day story arc, which is a three issue. So my guess is it's going to have Supergirl... It said Supergirl issue 31's tied into this, and Red Lanterns issue 31. So we have a story arc within a story arc. It sounds like Inception. This was bland. The Probably the most intense thing is this freaking cover. This is intense. We got Blue Cat here, and just people. He doesn't even show up in the issue. Hey, Batman's got a cameo with the 75. I my voice went up two octaves, but whatever. Um, it was just so bland. I guess character development happened. I don't even remember. I don't remember at all. It's great I got my voice back from thinking I had tonsillitis. Wonderful. Uh, two out of five stars. Ta Charles Soule, I'm I'm sad. That that's pathetic. Moving on, especially this is doubly pathetic because Legacy Two did better than you. You should be ashamed. But this wasn't that bad of an issue, even though the the covers fucking. Propaganda. Things happened in this issue that I've been waiting for for this whole story arc. We find out who really killed the um, Imperial Knight, and it wasn't Anya. And we figure out who it is subtly, and then we end up spoilers. Anya is trapped outside while this planet has, instead of, because it had been raining glass through half the issue, stops raining glass and starts raining acid. And she's trapped out there with no cover. So, this issue, it's redeeming this series. They actually care. It's not like with the main Star Wars title, which they don't give a shit about. Yeah, Brian Wood's an asshole. You heard it here first. You fuck! Care about what you write, you twat. Sorry, I digressed. Um, this gets a 4 out of 5 stars. Quite good. And moving on to my pick of the week. 
Secret Origins. Secret Origins I wasn't going to pick up. In fact, I told Dev and I'm like, ugh, $4.99. I paid that for Batman Black and White and that was crap. Why would I do that again? And then I started paging through this. And the Superman story at the beginning got me hooked. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll buy it. So I buy this. And now I'm out of money. <laughs> That's not the point. Um, the first two stories in this are really good. Third story kind of sucks my left nut, but that's beside the point. Superman's story is told, his or, secret origin is told in a very interesting way. It's not, it shouldn't even be called secret origin. It should be just be called random beginning stories. Um, Superman's story is told from the perspective of both his birth mother and his adoptive mother. And they both have monologues that are intertwined in this story. As he becomes the Man of Steel. Quite good. Moving on, we got a Dick Grayson Robin story where Robin buys his mom a birthday gift. And then they're murdered as this story goes. And Bruce adopts him. Um, Dick goes on his rampage of trying to figure out who... Killed, trying to find the person who killed his parents, and then he finds out that Bruce is Batman, and ba he trains him to be Robin. And yeah, really good. Then we move on to Supergirls. Supergirls was bland and boring, and it's unfortunate because Supergirls has been doing so well lately. Um, it flashes to her saving friends, uh, saving some girls on Krypton, and getting in trouble for it, and her mom's like. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, people don't understand when you save them. And just like, I'm like, shut up. It took me as long to read that bland piece of crap as it did to read the the previous two. This is why that this doesn't get a five star. It gets a four and a half out of five because that, that, that story was crap. So that's my picks for this week. Probably Walking Dead 126 would have been number one, but I couldn't read it because 124 I don't own. Wonderful. I can't even buy it this week. I don't have enough money in the budget. Okay, yeah, because fucking everything comes out this week. Including Amazing Spider-Man, which is the thing I'm most hoping for. Rebel Heist. I'm still on the fence with it. I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. I can't even afford. I can't afford anything for free comic day, so I'm not even going this year, which is really unfortunate. I really wanted to go, but there's no sense in going and dealing with bronies and things that I can't stand. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't just say bronies. I don't like crowds of humans in general, unless it's like a concert and I can mosh. I just don't, and I don't like the smell of neck beard. It has a certain scent. Doesn't like, and my nose doesn't like it. So anyway, back to future um, future plans. Um, this video was supposed to come out on Saturday. I woke up and my my food pipe, not my windpipe, my food pipe was like swollen shut basically, and so I was like gargling salt water and shit. And then the next day, like I saw Captain America: Winter Soldier. Then I went to bed, but we had no, we couldn't find NyQuil, so I took Benadryl, Ibuprofen, and z and I woke up, and I thought I had tonsillitis. It still hurts, like right here, it's very sore. And it's still swollen. But I, the fever's gone, which is the good thing. Um, basically, I don't remember Saturday all that much. Except for going to see Winter Soldier on Saturday night, which was a great film. I had some fears that because it was so overhyped that it would just disappoint, but it didn't. It was quite good. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. So, future plans. Um, Logan and I have... Logan, a.k.a. Mr. Moozer is his channel. Um, you probably subscribe to him. He and I have a film class together on Monday, so he and I were talking, and he's like, I'm getting bored of just doing haul videos, and I'm like, I totally agree. So what we, well, he's thinking about doing some new stuff, 
And I've been thinking for a while, as I said in my previous vlog, that I'm going to start doing, like, fucking, I don't know, story arc reviews or whatever. Well, I decided that that's not an important thing right now. I want to bring back a series that most of you won't remember. I think Devin's the only one of my viewers who will remember this series. It's called Disc Case Problems. I review packaging on CDs and DVDs. And I complain about it. I did it on my ranting channel, and I'm going to redo them and do some new ones and review them on here a couple times a month. Yeah, um, also, I'm going to start doing a thing I call Can Rants, and uh, stay tuned for that. Um, Addy, or, um, Whoever, I can't even remember who was it that posted on my, um, posted that topic about Star Wars changing canon. That's going to be on Can Rant. Stay tuned for that, because when I filmed that originally, I sat here, and my voice went out at the end. So, yeah. Fuck. Anyway, guys, have a nice day. And remember, I don't know, you're supposed to remember.